This is Erin Peliquin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to use our free Facebook Fix 960 action for Photoshop Elements. This action is available for free on our Facebook page. It will be there temporarily. Permanently, you can find the action on our website, which is mcpactions.com. If you need help installing the action, please see the videos that we have available at mcpactions.com to help you install them into Photoshop Elements. Or within the download file that came with your action download, there is a folder full of PDFs about how to install actions into your version of Elements on your operating system. I'll start today's tutorial by showing you an overview of this action set. The first two actions are the copyright and instructions, which you can read at your leisure. After that, we have a group of actions that resize your images and add a logo or watermark. For single images, you will run either the horizontal image resizer or the vertical image resizer and then finish with a logo if desired. For double images, if they are vertically oriented, you'll run the two images side by side with the option to add the before and after text if desired. Each of these side by sides will also add a watermark if you'd like. If your images are horizontally oriented, you'll want to run the two images top to bottom with or without the before and after font. And again, both of these will also give you the option to add a watermark if you'd like. The second step in running these actions is to apply the Facebook sharpening. And then the third set, these last three actions, allow you to add a copyright symbol or copyright text on top of your image. So I'm going to show you now a few examples. First, I'm going to show you what to do with a single image. Now, because this file is a vertically oriented photo, I am going to run the single image action, one vertical image. So I'll double click to run the action, press continue to finish, and this image has been resized. If I'd like to add a logo, I would double click on the logo action. I'll be prompted to navigate to my logo, which I can locate by clicking and dragging. I can size it by dragging on a corner, and then I can also adjust the opacity of the logo if I'd like to. If I wanted to sharpen this image, I would run the Facebook sharpening action. This will give me three layers of sharpening that I can choose from. The first one is standard, the top one is strong, and the bottom one is less strong. You can also use either the layer mask or adjust the opacity of each one of these layers once you find the one that gives you the best sharpening. Finally, if I want to add a do not copy message onto this image, I would run the copyright do not copy. I can adjust the opacity of the layer and using the move tool, which is this one, where I can use the shortcut of V to access it, I can locate the, this message wherever I want to on my photo. That's how you resize a single image for Facebook. If you wanted to show two images at a time, you'd use one of the two image actions. We are going to start with two images top to bottom. I'll double click on that and you can see that the storyboard is being built. I'll press continue, navigate to my first image, place it, and then navigate to my second image and place it as well. If I want to resize the image, I want to make sure that constrained proportions is turned on. If it is, all I do is click and drag on one of the corner sizing boxes and press on the green check bar mark when I'm finished. If I want to add a logo, I would hit continue, navigate to my logo, 
and then I can click and drag it to place it and size it as I need to. For two images with the before and after, I am going to use the before and after side-by-side -side action. Again, it's building my storyboard. It's going to prompt me to navigate to my first image. I will place it and making sure constraint proportions is checked. I will size it and press on the green check mark to commit. Now I'll navigate to my second file and do the same thing. I'm going to stop because I don't want a logo. You can see now I've got the text for before and after on my image. If I want it to be black, I would turn off the white layer, turn on the black layer. I can also adjust the opacity of the white layer if I want. Now, after running this action, if I have the top layer highlighted and I want to run another action like the sharpening, I'm going to get an error message saying this command cannot be completed as the layer is hidden. I'm getting that message because I started the action on a layer that was not turned on. All I need to do to correct that is to click on the first layer that has an eyeball and then run the next action and it will work just fine without any error messages. So that's how you use the MCP Facebook Fix 960. Again, you can download it temporarily from our Facebook page or from our website. It will be on our website permanently. That address is mcpactions.com. If you have any questions, visit the FAQ section on our website or send me an email. My address is erin at mcpactions.com. Thank you for watching and enjoy your action.